Welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, and today we are talking about our new app. And this app is made currently for the iPhone and iPad. They are tested on the iOS system number six. We're gonna show you a little bit about it. I'm using my iPad today, and right now I've got it on some screenshots, and then I will show you through the, uh, the app. So this is what it would look like on an iPad in the portrait mode. And this is the app icon, and it says Good Knit. Um, if I put the whole word on there, it sort of falls off. So it just says Good Knit, and then it has our logo. When you open it up, you're gonna get a screen that looks like this, and it's got a menu. And on that menu, you'll see a variety of various things here. We've got uh, Cast On and Rose Calculator, the Luminate and Craft Club, that's a direct Facebook look in, and you can use that to navigate your entire Facebook if you wish. It will keep you logged in. The club documents in that group, and by the way, this Facebook group is a closed group, so once you ask to be part of a member of that group, um, it's closed, it won't post to um, your wall unless you're friends with somebody who's in that group and then you might see a wall posting, but um, it's private. And then we have video tutorials and playlists which are on YouTube and those are only for Good Neck Kisses and uh, we'll show you a little bit about that in a minute. The blog which takes you directly to the Good Neck Kisses blog and then we've got our Twitter feed and then about privacy and terms and that is um, about this app and fine details and things but it also directly goes to our website and you can navigate the Good Knit, Good Knit Kisses website from there. This pink bar at the top up here is going to tell you that you're in the Good Knit Kisses app and what section you're in and we're going to open up the uh, Cast On Rose Calculator and it'll say on the top Cast On Rose Calculator and it has this great little swatch here now this swatch is going to guide you in how to count uh, and measure your um, stitches. It also has a nice and handy, and handy instructions at the bottom on how to use the calculator. And the way that you use it is you're gonna measure your swatch right here, uh, measure the width, you put in the number of stitches right over here, and then you put in the um, inches measured and in the width and then you'll put down the swatch length, which is the number of rows and the number of inches, and you'll put them right over in here in these little cells. And I'll show you that in just a moment. And then uh, you'll put in the project requirements. So if you're only trying to find out the width, then you can just put in the width. If you wanna find out the length, you can put in just the length, or you can do both. And once you populate those cells there and hit a button, it will um, tell you how many stitches you need to cast on and how many rows are needed to knit. So I'll show, that, show you that in detail in a moment. These are just the screenshots. And you can, also, um, you can also reset your calculator here, or every time you open the app, it will remember the stats that you used before. And if it leaves it blank, you can just hit this number and it will refresh and tell you the number. Uh, also, when you, when you put in the Lumnit Craft Club here, it has it at the top. And then you see um, the postings that are in that group for the day and you just scroll down and you'll see more postings. You can comment on postings, you can like, do all that kind of stuff and I'll show you how to navigate that. And then also there's club documents and when you hit club documents, of course it'll say it at the top as well. And here's one document for a short, short row hexagon, uh, the size by peg and spacing yarn used. Um, just a handy document in there. There's lots of different documents there. They change all the time and people add them. We have uh, another one that someone has posted um, which is a handy tool on knowing the different looms that are available and how many pegs and things are in them and different hints. Here's some more club documents at the bottom of that, comments that people made and you can add your own comment as well. And now here is the video tutorial playlist. Uh, I'm sorry, just the video tutorials, and it's a listing of all the tutorials from um, reverse chronological order, and you can search in there, and um, this is uh, me searching uh, in the video tutorials for the word sew, so if I need to sew something up, those are a couple of um, tutorials that are in there. And then this is if we click on blog, and see how it says blog at the top, and this is the latest blog that is in there. And you can also navigate within the blog here and you'll stay directly in the app so you won't be going in and out. 
Um, this is the Good Knit Kisses Twitter feed, and it says Kristen at Good Knit Kisses. Now this automatically updates some things that I say in Facebook and some other things like that. So if you like Twitter, you like to share Twitter, or you just want to catch up, you can come on here. Um, sometimes I'll post a funny video or an update of what's going on. So if you just want to check in on that for quickie items, then um, feel free to do that. And that is it for those. Let's go into the app right now. I did those so that we could zoom in a little bit. So this is what the app looks like when you turn it on. Um, wherever you stop last, if you, as you noticed when I opened it up, it started on this area here. It remembers where you were last. And I've got this swatch here and I can scroll down for instructions and just read on here if you get lost or come back to this tutorial. This is where we're gonna type in number of stitches. So if I click in here, I'm gonna say, okay, I had four stitches and I measure the width of my, um, my swatch and it was four. And now I'm gonna come down here and I measure the length of the swatch and maybe I got six stitches and I get it in a four inch section. And now I want to see how many stitches I need to cast on to make a 48 inch wide panel. And then length, I only want, hmm, let's say I want a um, 54 inch length. And so then I'm gonna come down here to calculate our results and in order to make it populate this, I will hit this little box here, this cell. And it tells me that I need um, 48, if you can't read that, this says 48 stitches to cast on and I need 81 rows. So because my stitches um, are one per inch on the width, I still need 48 stitches to cast on to make a 48 width, but because I had um, uh, four stitches, I'm sorry, six stitches per every four inches on the length on the rows, then it calculated it for me that I needed 81 rows to complete my project. So if I'm checking off rows on my project, then that's what I need. So that's really handy. And in order to go back, you can just use this little button at the top left and go back. It's in the pink area and it has the three little stripes. Now, if I click on the Luminate and Craft Club, it goes right into Facebook. Oh, and we're having a problem because I have turned off my settings to airplane. And we're just gonna show you all that because if it doesn't work for you, then you'll know why. <laughs> so we're just gonna do a little troubleshooting. And then sometimes the screen is just cause I'm getting my internet back on here. So if it has a little lag, that's normal. Um, so now I'm in here, this is live. This is happening right now. And uh, Nancy has posted her cute hat here. Oh, that is so cute. Belt loop hat with loomed flower. Another chemo hat. Very cool. Well, let's like this. All right, so I've hit like, and now I can type in here, and I can write what I wanna say, but I'm actually going to click on her picture and do it from here. And we're gonna click in here, and we're gonna type gorgeous. Love it. Okay, and we're gonna comment. Okay, so we've commented here, and we want to go back. Now I'm gonna show you, if I pull down, it says release to refresh, and when I release to refresh, it will go back to um, the main page of the Luminate and Craft Club. But if I put, put my finger on this pink part, the top left here, it will go back to the main page of the app. So let's go in there again, Luminate and Craft Club. It goes into Facebook. You'll see the Facebook bar that will come across. So we've got two bars. We have a pink bar and a blue bar. The blue bar is if I wanted to navigate Facebook right here. So I can um, take a message. I can, um, I can do um, notifications. Um, I can go in here and look at my groups that I have. Um, and then I can go back in the pink part and go to the main area. Also, I can go to club documents. And uh, when it refreshes, it's gonna give me a few of the club documents and then I can hit the see more button and then it'll populate a little bit more. I can scroll down. If that's not all the things that I want, um, I can hit see more. They are not in any chronological order. They are however Facebook deems that they want it to be. So it may be by popularity, by recent upload. There's different reasons for the way that they, um, the way that they are. Right here, I've uh, clicked on a pattern by, um, 
Jennifer and she has some mittens for dummies. <laughs> and so she's got some information she wants to share. And then scroll down to the bottom and she's got a couple more comments here and we can comment within the app. And we can go back up. And we gently go back up. We're still in the document. If we wanna go backwards in the group, then we just gently pull down. It says release to refresh and it will go back. And then we can hit the um, button here and we can go and navigate. Uh, so the button for the blue uh, still navigates just like the Facebook app. And then again, the pink button on the upper left will take you back to the main app page. For video uh, tutorials here, this will go directly to the Good Knit Kisses YouTube channel. And these are in reverse chronological order. They are um, the videos most recent that I did are up top. And then if you keep continuing to go down below and hit load more, uh, you might see a little icon flash as everything loads up. And of course you need a Wi-Fi connection uh, in order to use this or your data plan um, for the web-based parts of the application. And you can search for a tutorial. Let's say I wanna search for my soap bag. And when I do that, I'm gonna find the videos that pertain to the soap bag, or maybe I just meant to say bag or mesh bag, and here it is, the Easy Loom Knit Mesh Bag. Say you just wanted one of the part of the four series that was done, you could just go find those, whichever one was better, or maybe you wanted to make plastic yarn. So we're gonna click on that one, and we're gonna make Plarn, and it shows you the video here, and it's got um, the information on it. Um, it kind of shortens the, um, the description here, but if you want to um, go and um, comment, you can actually hit comment here. You can also um, rate the video and um, from this point here you can say rate or comment. I can thumbs up or down. I can make a comment here. What I like is I can if I find something that someone says that I'm like oh I like what you're, she said. I can hit the button and it will auto write the person's name which is super cool and then you can say thanks you know or hey I agree with you or whatever um, and then you can hit return and it will um, uh, it will go ahead and post on here for you and it'll tell you that it, your comment was successful I'm gonna cancel this and let's say we wanted to share the video I'm gonna hit share and it will give me the option if I want to email it or if I want to send it in a message to a friend, like an SMS message, a text message, if I want to tweet, if I want to print, which I think it just prints the, the main title, um, save to camera roll, it, it'll save a picture, like a screenshot. Um, and then this one down here is actually copy. It remembers yeah. where we were. And um, you can navigate back by hitting the video tutorials button. Uh, you can um, turn uh, you can turn the app and play full screen um, or I can hit the button here and I can play it while I'm still looking. So I've got this playing right now. Now this is the sound is off on here at the moment. Otherwise it, you would be hearing sound. I'm going to go back for video tutorials. And um, again, you can just type in what you need uh, here. Let's say we want to look for the dew drop and you can find the video for the Dewdrop Shawl. Okay, there it is. Tells you how many views, how many likes, you know. If you wanna give me some more likes, go ahead. <laughs> but please comment. Um, I, uh, I can't get to them all, but I enjoy uh, reading them. And then um, we've got video playlists. Now these are playlists that I put together um, to make it easier for you to find some stuff. Like we've got the um, Loom Knitting Library here, which has um, videos that it's a series that I'm trying to build up for myself and well for you and we've got an overview with swatches here and these this is the whole cast on series and we'll have stitches and we'll have bind offs I promise just take some time and then we have a little fun thing it says songs and fun videos about yarn crafts these are not videos they're mine uh, uh, these, none of these are my videos they're just fun and then we've got a beginner loom knitting double knit uh, beginner loom knitting video this is, has 55 videos so if you are brand spanking new to loom knitting, I tried to put them in an order that people like to do. So like the first one is making a hat. The next one is making a baby cocoon, which is basically a very big hat. Then an overview with some basic looms and some basic yarn. 
And some of these are very old videos um, of mine. And um, But scroll down and you'll see some basic stitches and then they start graduating to um, things that um, go into, and from instead of from beginner, you go to sort of easy. Um, here's one that's the Illuminate Granny Round, which is popular. Uh, going to the mesh bag and you pull up, it refreshes. Um, then you can go back. You can click on the How to Knit on Needles beginner series, which has been very popular. It's very slow. So if you're wanting to step into that, um, go ahead. And then I do add videos to these. So just kind of keep going, find the category that you want. They're not in a particular order in here. And then we have the blog, and that just takes you directly to my blog. And it's live for whatever is on there now. And you can navigate within this here. Um, you can um, zoom in on this particular one. Um, I believe you can watch a video from in here. And it looks like you can. I have it embedded in here, so we can do that. Um, if you don't know what this little symbol is right here, um, that symbol is if you have an Apple TV and you want to um, push it to your television, you can actually hit this button here and I can play it in whatever room I have it in. I happen to have two Apple TVs. And um, so we're going to go back and um, when I pull it down, it auto refreshes again and hit the back button uh, on the app, which is the pink one at the top left. If I click on um, the Kristen A Good Knit Kisses, this is whatever's in my latest Twitter feed. And um, if you like to tweet, go for it. You can click on it. You can share the tweet. You can share by email, message, Twitter, or you can copy the tweet. And then you can go back as normal. And then the about privacy and terms, it's, um, it's just an about me page and it talks about the, um, the app that's, well, it says coming, but tomorrow is the day that it's here. And I just scroll down the terms and service of policy, content, all that information that you need, but it happens to be on my website and this is changing uh, very soon, but the website will still remain and you'll be able to navigate the main site from here if you'd like to. And that is the current app so far. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm really happy um, to put that out there. And uh, yes, we'll be working on some other versions, some um, things to add. You're welcome to give me your feedback. Send me a message at goodknitkisses at gmail.com. And um, thank you so much. And I'll enjoy your comments. Let me know what you think. Have a great day.